Hi everybody. So I answer a lot of support questions. I see a ton of solder joints and I often end up recommending the same things to beginners about how to improve their solder joints. So I thought I'd share them with you here. Um, and it's really three very simple things that I think are basically what most people need to get to the next level of, of professional soldering. Uh, the first is clean the tip more than you think you need to. The second is heat the pad longer than you think you should. And the third is use less solder than you think you need to. Uh, so I'm going to go over those one by one real quick. So the first, cleaning the tip. The way we clean the tip is with solder. You will use more solder cleaning the tip than you will on the board, and that's just a fact of life. In fact, if you don't feel like you're wasting too much solder, you're probably not cleaning the tip enough. The tip naturally gets oxidized, it picks up dirt. So honestly, when you're starting out, clean it between every joint. And what you're looking for is that it's just perfectly uniformly silver and shiny. And we just do that by adding solder to the tip and then dipping it either in this metal wool like this, which I highly recommend, or on a, a wet sponge, which is inferior, but will do the job. So rule number one, waste more solder than you think you need to cleaning the tip. All right, number two, is heat the pad longer than you think. And by pad, I just mean whatever we're soldering. So here I'm on a circuit board, so I'm heating the pad and a lead at the same time for a few seconds and then adding solder. And look how it just flows in beautifully like that. Let me show you how not to do it. And that's to add all both the solder and the tip at the same time. Now, see what happened there is that all the solder went onto the iron because the iron is hot and the pad is not hot yet. The, the, the uh, solder is only gonna melt to what's hot. So heat the pad for a few seconds, then add solder, okay? Tip number three, use less solder than you think. Uh, in general, when I see photos of people's builds, I very rarely see too little solder. I almost always see too much. So I've got a few examples of too much solder here where you can see it's gone through to the other side and there are kind of these big bulges of solder. We don't want that and we don't need it. We want as little, as, much, as little solder as possible so that the heat stays very concentrated and the joint flows really nicely. So I'm gonna show you what too much solder looks like here. That's too much, as you can see on the other side here. Got a big bulge there. We don't, we don't want that. Here's the right amount of solder. 1,001, about one second of adding solder. So, so these tips are really about recalibrating your instincts for soldering. Clean more than you think you need to. Heat the pad longer than you think you need to before you add solder five to eight seconds. And then three, use less solder than you think you need to. Keep these things in mind and I guarantee your solder, solder joints will improve. Uh, soldering will be more fun, more satisfying. Yeah.